If you're already using Amazon Alexa, Google Home or Apple HomeKit, you might be asking yourself, why would anyone want to run Home Assistant instead? After all, those systems are simple, they're popular, and they pretty much work right out of the box. Well, today I'm going to give you 10 clear reasons why Home Assistant is worth considering. This isn't about bashing Alexa, Google or Apple. They're great for a lot of people. But if you want more privacy, more flexibility and more control over your smart home, Home Assistant has some real advantages that the other smart home ecosystems just can't match. Hey everyone, my name's Simon and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek, a channel that's all about Home Assistant and smart home technology. Today, we're gonna to take a closer look at Home Assistant and specifically why some people prefer it over the more mainstream options like Alexa, Google Home or Apple's HomeKit. If you've been using those systems, you already know they make it easy to get started. But Home Assistant opens the door to a completely different level of customization privacy and control. So in this video, I'm going to share 10 clear reasons why it might be the right choice for you and hopefully give you a better idea of whether making the switch is worth it. And before we get started, I'd love to know what smart home platform are you using right now? Drop a comment down below and let's see which ecosystem is the most popular amongst the viewers. Okay, so the first big reason is local control. With Alexa, Google, and Apple, most things depend on the cloud. If your internet connection goes down or their servers have an outage, your smart devices might stop working properly and there's nothing you can do about it until they come back up. Now, admittedly, given the redundancy some of these services have in place, this might be a very rare thing, but the potential is still there for it to happen, especially if someone decides to you know, DDoS a part of their infrastructure. Home Assistant, on the other hand, runs completely locally on your own hardware, whether that's a Raspberry Pi, a small server, or even a virtual machine. That means your automations, your lights, your sensors, and routines continue to work even if your internet is completely offline. And you know, at the end of the day, when you think about it, reliability is one of the most important features a smart home can have. The next reason on my list is privacy. Uh, let's be honest here, Alexa, Google and Apple are in the business of collecting data. Voice commands, usage patterns, even the devices you own can all feed into their systems. And certainly with Amazon, you know, they employ people to listen to everything your Echo devices are capturing in an effort to improve the performance of their systems. Home Assistant doesn't do that. Everything is stored locally. Your automations, your history, and even your voice commands if you enable Home Assistant's own assistant. Nothing is being sent off to a data center somewhere in the world. Nothing is being listened to. Your data is your data and nobody else's. So if you care about keeping your smart home private, Home Assistant puts you in full control. Our third on the list is a vendor lock-in. So if you use Alexa or Apple, then more often than not, you're stuck with the devices that work with that ecosystem. Yes, you know they probably cover the common items most people will start out with in their smart home, but they don't cover everything available. Home Assistant is very different. Its aim isn't to tie you into one particular system or protocol, it's brand agnostic. You can use Philips Hue bulbs alongside IKEA sensors, z switches, Zigbee plugs, and devices from companies that don't even exist anymore. You, as the consumer, are free to choose the best device for each job without worrying if it works with one particular ecosystem. And that leads straight into my reason four, and that's integrations. 
Home Assistant currently supports more than 3,000 integrations. That's everything from the big names like Ring and Nest to niche hardware like weather stations, robot vacuums, energy meters, and so many more. If you've got a device in your home, then there is a very good chance that Home Assistant can integrate with it. And if it doesn't yet, then there's often someone in the community that's working away on integrating that. The commercial platforms simply cannot match that level of support, as generally they tend to stick with the most popular devices available. Okay, next up on my list is automations. Now Alexa routines and Google automations are fine for simple if this then that type of tasks. For example, you know, if I say good night, then turn off the lights. But Home Assistant can go way beyond that. You can build automations with multiple conditions. You can use the time of day, uh, you know, occupancy, weather, even data from your energy tariff. So you, know, you could quite easily set up an automation that you know, if it's after sunset and someone arrives home and the front door opens, then turn on the hallway light, but only if the energy tariff is low. That level of control is what turns a smart home into a truly intelligent home, and the other ecosystems simply cannot match that. Now, number six on my list is customization. So what do I mean by that? Well, with Alexa, Google, or Apple, you get the app that they give you. It looks the same for everyone, and you can't really change that much about it. And if you're wanting to create a simple smart home system, then you may well be absolutely fine with that. But Home Assistant, on the other hand, lets you build dashboards that are completely your own. You can design a clean, simple view for your family with just the essentials, or you can build a full-blower network operation style display with graphs, cameras, and system monitoring. The possibilities really are limitless. Okay, so reason seven is longevity. Uh, one of the frustrations with the big ecosystems is that devices or features can be dropped, and Google's done it with Nest, Amazon has retired Echo products, and Apple has left older HomeKit setups behind. They have a vested interest in moving their product line forward. After all, they're in the business of making money, and once they've got you hooked on a product, if they retire it a few years later, then they can almost guarantee you'll buy the next version of the product. Home Assistant is different. Because it's open source and community driven, older devices are often supported long after manufacturers have stopped caring about them. That means your investment in smart devices isn't wasted just because a company changes its strategy. Your devices remain yours until such a time when you want to upgrade them. My eighth reason is energy management. Now, I think this is an area where Home Assistant really shines and it's way ahead of the other ecosystems. It can monitor your solar panels, smart plugs, EV chargers, and even track your energy tariff rates. It has a built-in energy dashboard showing you exactly where your electricity is going and how much it's costing you. And if that doesn't give you enough information, then, well, you guessed it, why not design something yourself? None of the big ecosystems offer this kind of insight. And if you're trying to save money with your smart home or just be more efficient, then something like this is incredibly useful. Now, the ninth reason on my list is voice assistants. The individual ecosystems are, well, just that really. You know, for Alexa, you use Alexa. With Google, you use Google. With Apple, you use Siri. End of the story. Home Assistant gives you options. It has its own voice assistant called Assist, which works locally and doesn't send recordings to the cloud. But, you know, if you still want to use uh, Alexa or Google or Siri in the mix of things, you can integrate those as well. Now, some might say that this isn't a direct replacement for those ecosystems, but it's not necessarily about replacing them. It's about giving you the choice in how you control your home. And finally, number 10 on the list is 
transparency. So Home Assistant is open source. It's built by a global community of developers and enthusiasts. You can see the roadmap, you can request new features, and you can even contribute to it if you want to. That's very different from the closed corporate platforms where decisions are made behind the scenes and usually based upon what is actually profitable for them. With Home Assistant, the platform grows in the direction the community wants, not just what the company behind it wants. When a manufacturer takes away the ability to control their devices, the Home Assistant community comes together to solve the problem and not just ignore it. There are many examples of this, and this can't be matched by the regular smart home ecosystems. So those are my 10 reasons why you might want to choose Home Assistant over Alexa, Google, or Apple. If you're happy with a simple plug and play smart home, those platforms are perfectly fine. But if you want privacy, flexibility, and total control, then Home Assistant is worth exploring. And once you start using it, you'll quickly see why so many people do actually make the switch. If I've missed anything from my list, then why not comment down below so that others who might be considering jumping into Home Assistant get to know about them as well. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. And if you'd like to see more of these, then don't forget to hit the like button and hype button, as well as subscribe to the channel. It really does help and lets other people get to see this video as well. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.